Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at the two disturbances in the Atlantic and the Caribbean. We're also going to be looking at Hurricane Larry. Now before we could get into the video, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. Here's the five day graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center. As you can see, we have disturbance one in the Atlantic, a 70% chance of a cyclone formation in five days and a 40% chance of a cyclone formation in through 40 hours. We also have disturbance two in just on the coast of Western Alaska right now. And this also does have a 70% chance of a cyclone formation in five days. We also have a medium 50% chance throughout 40 hours. We also have Hurricane Larry that does have maximum sustained winds of 70 knots or 80 miles per hour as of 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time at located at 40.0 north, 60.5 west. As you can see, it is expected to skyrocket north very fast that it's moving around 29 miles per hour. And we do have hurricane warnings out for portions of Newfoundland. So if you do live in those red areas, definitely uh, make sure you are prepared for Hurricane Larry to bring some very gusty winds and may bring some damage. Also, some storm surge may be likely. It's going to move over fairly quick, so you're not going to really see um, much storm surge or much rainfall from this. But a lot of wind is definitely going to be expected for uh, for a few hours uh, from this. Let's go ahead and look at this, this disturbance in the uh, Caribbean first. And this is the GFS model, the uh, current precipitation and the future precipitation. Let's go ahead and go forward here. We don't see much. There's a lot of precipitation over Mexico. As, as you can see, we ha do have a low forming around September 11th. And that'd be 12 a.m. of September 11th. There was a little bit of a low there. It goes into the Gulf. And as you can see, by September 12th, around 6 p.m., you can see definitely some rotation in there. And that may uh, be a tropical depression, possibly. That moves northwestward and gets a little bit stronger, um, but mostly tropical depression or possibly even like a uh, very low-end tropical storm impacting Mexico. And then uh, over there, it makes landfall by September 13th. And then it pretty much dies out from there. And there's not really much rainfall. After, there's not really much uh, tropical systems, I mean, after that. I mean, you can go over to September 17th. There's not really many tropical systems out in the Caribbean. And this is pretty much the last one for like a week. And uh, we'll have to see with the upcoming models if this is going to change or anything. But this is pretty close. So um, the models aren't going to change a whole lot. Um, but this may strengthen a little bit, may change directions. Um, it's not an invest yet. So we can't really look at spaghetti models. But that's getting your look. Here it is right there. If you didn't see it already there but yeah that's the tropical system that we are expecting to form in the extremely southwestern part of the gulf and a move into mexico possibly bring mostly a lot of rainfall for portions of uh western uh, the east coast of mexico not really much wind now we can go ahead and get a, a whole wide view of the atlantic here and as you can see we currently have some tropical systems we do have currently two high pressures and this high pressure is more eastward here's the bermuda high pressure and that's going to bring some of these storms in this type of area if do, if any storms enter this type of area they're going to pr pretty much guaranteed to bring in this into kind of the east coast there but let's go ahead and move forward here as you can see there's that tropical wave uh that we are talking about the trop the tropical disturbance too there it is and as you can see it's moving westward it's moving westward and it kind of has a hard time and this is probably due to shear in the area and as you can see it moves westward keeps moving westward this is kind of the area where that tropical wave is as you can see that high pressure moves way eastward and that's going to bring it into kind of a fish storm again just like larry as you can see there it is again uh by september 22nd and then we move another even another tropical wave there and again the high pressure is still in this type of region so since this high pressure moved more westward around september 22nd this tropical wave may have a chance to impact the u.s but let's move forward more as you can see the high pressure is kind of fluctuating a little bit kind of staying in the same area though and that tropical wave just gets skyrocketed north just like larry that we're seeing right now 
there's that same tropical wave and this is September 25th so this is 300 almost 400 hours out so this is not really reliable at this point um, but though that tropical wave is disturbance 2 so it looks like disturbance 2 may be a fish storm as well uh, we will have more updates within the next uh, month or you will have uh, more updates within the next two weeks for these uh, for this disturbance disturbance 2 and possibly even another tropical wave so definitely stay tuned for updates if you did enjoy the video be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss another video or live stream on the tropics also make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want the latest update on the tropics but anyways stay safe